Tesla has ended the recommendation program for all projects except for the solar roof, and we expect a new version of the program to be launched in the near future. Tesla is preparing for a comprehensive update of its fully autonomous driving mode, which will expand the beta testing of the feature to more customers and regions. At the same time, the company has also released a new video showing its proprietary Tesla Glass. It seems that there are no more Teslas for you this year. The popular Tesla Model 3 and Model Y are harder to find than ever before, whether on the Tesla website or in the used car market. In Europe, Tesla officially opened the Giga Festival pre-registration on October 9 at Giga Berlin, which will allow citizens of Berlin and Brandenburg to participate in county fairs with the automaker. In Australia, a Tesla Model 3 high-performance electric car won one of the key categories in the famous Targa West 1000 km road rally at the weekend. If it can get the super-fast charging unit, it may challenge the overall award. So let's review all the details. Before we start, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to Technopool, and click the bell button to receive notifications. For many years, Tesla has relied on its referral program to stimulate demand. The automaker does not like to spend money on marketing or advertising, but instead relies on its user base to promote its vehicles and reward them in the process. The core of the referral program is that new buyers can use the referral link of existing owners when buying a new Tesla, and each party can get prizes. The prizes have changed a lot over the years. At the peak of the plan, Tesla gave free new roadsters to owners who had accumulated enough recommendations. CEO Elon Musk later announced that due to cost issues associated with all these sports cars, Tesla will terminate its recommendation program, which the automaker has not yet delivered. Tesla did not ultimately terminate the plan, but it did reduce the rewards for both parties to 1,000 miles of free supercharging. A few days ago, Tesla updated its website and added a statement that as of September 18, 2021, it will no longer accept referrals for automotive products and solar panels. However, Tesla retained the solar roof referral program and even increased it to a reward of $500 per system activation. At this time, orders for solar roof are eligible for the referral program. To earn referral awards, solar roof orders must be placed through your unique referral link. Note that referrals cannot be added after an order is placed, and awards are granted after the solar roof system receives permission to operate on the grid from your utility. The solar roof is only a small part of Tesla's referral program, and now the rest is it. Some people predict the end of the recommended plan era. The details are still unclear, but now Tesla has stopped accepting recommendations. For vehicles, we hope that these changes will be announced soon. Tesla is preparing to launch a software upgrade that will allow a few drivers to use more autonomous driving features in the city. So far, the beta version of driving assistance software available to thousands of drivers in the United States is designed for a relatively simple highway environment. Computer-assisted city driving will bring Tesla closer to CEO Elon Musk's vision of a fully autonomous vehicle. But safety officials believe the company is surpassing itself and putting drivers in danger. Homendy called it misleading and irresponsible for Tesla to advertise its software as full self-driving, adding that the company has clearly misled numerous people to misuse and abuse technology. The beta version of the fully automated driving mode was launched in October 2020 and is suitable for a small number of Tesla drivers. After Tesla CEO Elon Musk announced a few days ago that he plans to release a wider version before the end of September, he said that drivers who want to try the latest version of the fully automated driving mode will be able to use the version request button around October 1st. It is expected that the update will also add new tools to help drivers drive on city streets and highways. But Homendy believes that this move is premature. It's quite rare for Tesla to produce marketing videos about its technology outside of actual special events, but the automaker decided to release a video about Tesla Glass. As early as 2016, some reports say that the automaker launched a new Tesla Glass secret project, and put former Apple materials engineer Mike Pilliard in charge. At the time, little was known about the project other than the name, but in the following years, Tesla developed its own expertise in creating new types of glass. This glass is used in its own products including automobiles and energy products, such as solar roof tiles, also known as solar glass. Tesla put Pilliard in front of the camera to talk about Tesla Glass in a new video released a few days ago. In the video, Tesla caught a glimpse of its glass technology center in Los Angeles.
The main feature that Pilliard focuses on is the latest acoustic technology Tesla has introduced in its vehicles hence the name of the video. He was talking about double glazing with a damping and sound insulation layer in the middle. The engineer also made some interesting comments on the various uses of Tesla's development of glass. These include requiring glass panels to be safe in the event of an accident and to protect occupants from ultraviolet rays and noise. Tesla must also develop its front windshield as the lens for its front-facing autopilot camera. He showed some interesting distortion testing methods. This is something we didn't expect before. Due to the continuing shortage of semiconductors worldwide automakers, large and small are struggling to keep production up with demand. It's only September, and Tesla the world's largest electric car manufacturer, has sold out almost all year. On the company's website, the waiting time for vehicle models is three months or more. The estimated delivery date for Model 3 is December. Those who want a Model Y SUV must wait until February next year. The waiting time for high-end Model S and Model X is even longer until March or April 2022. The upper-end performance version of Model 3 is estimated to arrive in November, so is the performance version of Model Y. In July, Tesla CEO Elon Musk told investors during the company's second quarter earnings call that Chip supply is fundamentally the governing factor on our output. It is difficult for us to see how long this will last because this is out of our control essentially. For the rest of this year, our growth rates will be determined by the slowest part in our supply chain, he said. Tesla did not respond to media queries about long-term delivery estimates. At the same time, second-hand Tesla is harder to find than ever. Even if you are lucky, you may have to pay extra. Tesla announced and began accepting the registration of GigaFestival, a county-level exhibition organized by the automaker for the launch of the Berlin Gigafactory. The company will allow two adults and up to four children under the age of 16 to participate in a party and will include a factory tour. CEO Elon Musk announced his intention to start the county fair and factory tour in August. The activity appears to have been approved before the initial production stage of the factory. After only 21 months in the factory, Tesla will start producing electric cars at the factory later this year. The work has not yet been completed, and even if Tesla starts production at the factory, it will not be a completed facility. The company plans to add a battery factory to the facility in the next few years. Currently, Tesla will send the battery to the factory from Fremont to complete the assembly of the vehicle. A few days ago, Tesla Giga Berlin received two more pre-approvals from the Brandenburg State Environmental Agency. This means that the construction of some buildings such as rainwater pools and fire extinguishing water can basically be carried out. This is of course good news not only for Tesla fans but also good news for the electric vehicle industry in Germany and Europe, because the factory will provide cars and 4680 batteries for the European market. In Australia, the performance of the Tesla Model 3 promoted by the husband and wife team Jürgen and Helen Lunsman easily won the Targa 130 category for cars limited to a top speed of 130 km per hour last year, shocking the local racing community. This year, it was upgraded to the Targa 165 package with a top speed of 165 km per hour becoming the first Tesla Model 3 in the Southern Hemisphere to enter the FIA-approved racing car with a roll cage. It won again easily in just 8 minutes, beating some high-spec fossil fuel vehicles including Porsche Cayman, most of which cost three times the TOC EVA Tesla budget. The TOC EVA racing team is led by John Edwards, who owns the car and funded all mobile charging infrastructure. The team now consists of approximately 15 people from the Tesla Owners Club and AEVA. Tesla ranks ninth overall, behind the winning Lotus. Florian Pop from Gemtech said that if it can use a 120 kW portable superfast charger, it may challenge the podium position. We hope you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave your comment in the section below, and please don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. There are many more future-focused tech videos coming soon, so until then stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video.